Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here's my dog. Oops, say hi. Anyways, like I was saying, seriously, <laughs> bro. We're gonna try to get the RX-8 situated. So I don't know, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you know that I got the RX-8, I can't, I can't remember if it's one and a half years ago or two and a half years ago. But we've had the RX-8 for a while. I don't know, the RX-8 story is a whole story in and of itself that I might tell someday. But we're just trying to get it to pass emissions basically right now. I bought a cheap cat off eBay. Hopefully that'll be enough to get it to pass emissions. But I really just haven't been motivated to do any of it. And one of the biggest reasons why I haven't done anything is because the space that I do have, it's just a mess. And yeah, there's there's no space. There's no space to work here. So we need to clean it up and get it ready to, to be able to work at. So, so let's get it cleaned up. If you currently do or ever have lived in an apartment, then I'm sure you understand the dilemma that is not having space. Whether it's not having the space to work on your cars or not having space to do around the house projects or simply just not having space for storage, it just, it really sucks. And that's the current dilemma that we're in. But when we first moved into these apartments, I wasn't really planning on working on my cars here anyways, just because I didn't have any tools and my RX-8 was in pieces in my mom's backyard. So I really didn't have anything I could do here. But then we got the RX-8 back together, we got it running and we brought it back here to the apartments. And that was right around the time when gas prices started skyrocketing. So I really couldn't justify driving the 30 minute drive to my mom's house just to work on my cars. And so then I had another dilemma. I didn't have any tools, but what I did have were some of the best friends and family in the world who actually ended up giving me a lot of their tools. And I then had another dilemma. I didn't have a place to store them. And at first it really wasn't that big of a deal because I was just working on smaller projects that I could use, you know, I could do it on the kitchen table or I could just do it on the floor, wherever. But understandably, my wife wanted me to keep the car stuff outside on the porch. And so that's where it all ended up. Eventually, I found this really cool tool chest slash workbench thing that you see here on Facebook Marketplace for cheap. So I picked it up and stored all my tools in there for a bit. And I thought my problems were solved. But then I started getting really busy with work and other things in life and we had a baby and all this other stuff was happening and I just couldn't really get all of my projects finished. And so the porch became the designated area for all of the unfinished projects and any other general clutter. So yes, not having a ton of space sucks, but I thought, hey, if we have a porch, I could turn this into a dedicated working space and I would be so much more motivated to get things done. All right, there you have it guys. It's nice and clean, nice and organized. This is 100% better than what it was like before. You know, before we had the, the workbench was in the middle, there's stuff piled all around it. Literally, there was like barely any space to walk around it. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but this is just so much better. Definitely want to get a stool so I can sit down here and work on the workbench. But I mean, for now, this is, this is gonna be perfect. Come on, Goose. What do you think? What do you think, Maverick? Yeah, you like it? Let's get the cat out here and see what we're working with. Okay. So, it comes in two pieces. Uh, I did not know that. emissions and I think it should at least be able to do that. Thanks. Bless. 
heck? The hole that they cut out for the O2 sensor bung, they just left a little scrap piece of metal inside the cap. That's funny. It's eBay. Well, here it is, I guess. I don't know how it's supposed to go together, but we'll figure it out. So this fits on the here. This is called a U bolt. I'm sure you can see why it's called, you know, it's, it's a bolt in the shape of a U. You basically, you slide it on, and then you just get the nuts, tighten them down, it squeezes the pieces together hard enough so that they won't come apart. This is new to me, but I mean, it's pretty pretty simple. But yeah, we've got we've got all the pieces, we've got the gaskets, everything's good to go. I mean, the condition, you know, the welds aren't the best, but it's a lot better than I would have done because I can't weld at all. <laughs> Maybe this would be a good project for me to get, you know, started with. But before we get it on, let's go see the RX-8. Before we actually get the cat installed, I wanted to get the codes read because we've got a check engine light, obviously, but I, I want to make sure that we don't have anything else, you know? I want to know what we've got, you know? I've got my own code reader, like a $20 one from, from eBay or Amazon or whatever, but I don't know where it is, I can't find it. We're just gonna go to AutoZone. AutoZone's literally like right behind us here. So we'll go to AutoZone, get the codes read, find out what the codes are, and then we can get the cat installed. Shoot. <laughs> All right, well, first we're gonna jumpstart the car. How's it going? Good. Did you have a good Christmas? Do you have any plans for New Year's? Okay, 2023, we all need yeah. to keep each other accountable. Let's do it. Of getting over there. Let's do it. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. It's Hayden, right? Yeah. See you next year. See you next year. <laughs> <laughs> oh! So it has it has been a little colder here in Arizona, but you know, just with the cold weather and I haven't been driving the RX-8 hardly at all for probably a month, you know, it got to the battery. So we're gonna get it charged. Dusty.
All right, so every time I try to connect the terminals, the horn goes off. I don't know what that's all about, so I'm just gonna pull the fuse for the horn. The relay, I should say. There we go. All right, we'll try that now. long enough so let's try to get her started Let her warm up and then we'll head over to AutoZone and get those codes read. All we have is that code, which is saying it's a mass airflow sensor code. I don't know, I'm thinking since it didn't have a drive cycle, I'm thinking that's why it's not bringing up the O2 sensor code. But yeah, the bad news is just after letting this, the car sit here after going inside AutoZone, battery's already dead again. So I'm gonna drop my battery off, get it recharged here, walk back home, and I will see you guys whenever I see you. All right, so as unfortunate as this is, we're gonna be okay. I should have I should have driven it longer. I knew I should have driven it longer just to get it charged a little more. It's not a big deal. Like I said, I live literally right behind the auto zone. So I'm just gonna, I'm walking home. And in an hour, they said the battery should be charged and then I'll come pick it up. Best case scenario is you live in apartments, but you live right next to the auto zone. One hour later. All right, it's been an hour, so we're gonna head over to the auto zone to get the RX-8 so we can get working on the cat and stuff.
got the battery installed, charged up. I really have to drive this thing more often. The moment of truth here. Starts right up, that's what we're talking about. Here we go. Hello. There we go. All right, let's get back home. Right, guys we made it back and you know as much as I want to I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the cat installed today it's actually New Year's Eve so happy New Year's you know <laughs> I wish I could get it installed but yeah I don't think I'm gonna have time we've got plans tonight you know stuff like this happens all the time you know you want to go do some work on your cars and a million things happen before you can even get to the one part that you're trying to put on so you know it is unfortunate but we still got some stuff done you know we, we took care of the dead battery cleaned off the porch, you know? I think it was a pretty successful day either way. Stay tuned for the next video. The next video will definitely be getting the cat installed. You know, see if we can figure out the check engine light. It might be the mass airflow sensor. So we'll, we'll figure that out in the next video. Like I said in the other video, I'm not gonna be doing too many videos, but I like doing it, you know? In some ways it helps me stay motivated to be able to, you know, to do all of these things that I have on the list of to do's and all this stuff so yeah if you want to come along for the ride that would be awesome if you made it this far into the video thank you so much i appreciate you guys my name is hayden this is mav speed with two b's and i'll see you in the next one